Greetings. Receive the grace and peace from our God and our Father and from our brother, hallelujah, and Lord Jesus Christ on this day. I'm Pastor Ralph Michael Rivera, and I want to thank you for taking a few minutes to, uh, to hear what God wants to, uh, to tell us during this devotional. Amen? Let's get to it. Let's begin by saying a quick prayer. Amen? Heavenly Father, we come before you at this moment in time and present this devotional to you. We ask, Lord, that you send your Holy Spirit down at this moment, that you cleanse the atmosphere and prepare it, Lord, as well as the soil of our hearts, Lord, so that we may be able to receive what it is that you want us to get today. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. So, let's get to it. How was your week? Did you win and lose some battles? Excellent. <laughs> Why do I say excellent? Why do I laugh? Well, because this only reinforces our faith and our belief that there is nobody like him. And when I say nobody, I mean there is nobody like him. That is what happens. And as a pastor, I've gone, I've had the honor of being able to help others and uh, as they are going through one battle or another. And I've even experienced a few of my own. <laughs> a few that caused me to remember, brothers and sisters, what the psalmist David wrote when he said, You have said, seek my face. My heart has said, I will seek your face, O Lord. I will seek your face. Hide not your face from me. Do not turn away your servant in anger. You have been my help. So do not leave me, Lord, nor forsake me, O oh God of my salvation. Verse 10 tells us, Even though my father and my mother forsake me, yet the Lord will take me in. So teach me your way, O oh Lord, and guide me in the path of righteousness because of my enemies. Do not hand me over to the will of my enemies, for false witnesses and those who breathe cruelty have risen against me, O oh Lord. And I would have fainted, glory to God, if I did not believe that I would see the goodness of Jehovah in the land of the living. Verse 14. Wait on the Lord. Be strong. And he will encourage your heart. Yes. Wait on the Lord. Psalms 27, verses 8 through 14. Waiting is hard, brothers and sisters, I know. We all at some point face a decision that involves the process of, of waiting. And while it is not always easy, when we are waiting on, 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 on direction from God, it is always worth it. I, I learned that. It's always worth it. Waiting for the Lord to speak helps us to grow, brothers and sisters, in our faith and shows us that God, glory to God, is in charge. And scripture encourages us to step away from our personal efforts and to release control of every choice and every decision and every matter and every problem, everything, to the Lord. Listen to what it says in Psalm 60, 62, verse 1. I wait quietly before the Lord, for my victory comes from Him. Oh, Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for providing for my victory in all of my situations, Lord. I will quiet my mind and anxious heart in response to your words. I choose to listen to your direction, Father God, and your guidance in this matter. And I trust in your promises. That's what that verse is saying. It's saying, help me to be calm and rest in the fact that you will help me. You will give me victory, glory to God, in this circumstance, in Jesus' name. And when we read what is written in Psalm 62, verse 2, he alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress, where I will never be shaken. What that verse is telling us is, Lord, I pray that I, as I release my decision and my problems to you, that I will find stability and safety in your word. 
your word, Lord. Help me to trust in your wisdom that you provide and the strength, glory to God, of your presence now and always in my life. What that verse says is, help me to resist confusion and fear as I wait on you, Lord. You are the most reliable, glory to God, and, and trustworthy source of help is what we're saying to him. Thank you for the security of knowing that you are working behind the scenes for me in Jesus' name. That's what we're saying when we say, he alone is my rock and my salvation. Psalm 62, 5 tells us, let all that I am wait quietly before God, for my hope is in him. <laughs> my hope is in him. What I'm saying is, thank you, Lord. Thank you for this reminder to find hope in you. What I'm saying is, help me to quiet any thoughts that challenge your word, God. Help me to stay in front of your face. Help me to pursue your presence in every way. Let every part of me rest, O oh Lord, in peace and calm, in the peace and the calmness of your company. That's what we're saying. We're saying, help me settle my words, O oh Lord, dear God, my thoughts and actions on the hope I have in you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen is what we're saying. That is exactly what we're saying. Oh, we're saying my victory and honor come from God alone, that he is my refuge, a rock where no enemy can reach me. Psalm 62, 7. Waiting on the Lord also means we're saying to him what is written in Psalm 62, 8, which says, oh, my people trust in him at all times, not just sometimes, at all times. In other words, we want to pour out our heart to him, for God is our refuge. That's verse, chapter 62, verse 8 of Psalms. Common people are as worthless as a puff of wind, and powerful are not what they appear to be. And if you weigh them on the scale, says the word of God, together they are lighter than a breath of air. Psalm 62, 9. <laughs> Wait on the Lord. God has spoken plainly, and I have heard it many times, said David. Power, oh God, belongs to you. Psalm 62, 11. So unfailing love, oh Lord, is yours. Surely you will repay all people according to what they have done. So Lord, I just want to thank you and, and your unfailing love, because your love is perfect. And you see all that is going on in our lives. Lord, we need your love, your comfort to guide us and to help us through the choices and decisions we will have to make, Father God, on a daily basis. And Lord, I ask that you help us all to obey what you require of us and align our thoughts with your words. You are just and we know that you will ensure that things will work out as they should. Thank you for your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm Pastor Ralph Michael Rivera. Fight on. Fight on and wait on the Lord. Put your trust in him. And you will see. He's got your back. God bless you.